Right, hi guys. Um, I'm going to work on a demo um, just to show you how I go about these sketches. That's what I'm going to try and sketch the guy right there. I'm just going to try and make a reproduction on how quickly I'll do this if I was doing it on the tube. So I'm going to put it right in front of me and I'm going to start. Okay, I'm going to do this carefully. Try this out for you guys. Yeah, right. Um, so straight away, first thing is top hat okay and then a line just to show this is and this is done really quickly so I might not even talk that much but if you can just watch how I go along and so I've gotten the hat in there that's very important and the next thing I'll be looking at is you know the angles so the angle of the nose and just measuring the distance how far the next distance could be the the where the lip is and what angle does the mouth and move in you see and then the next one could be the the angle of the lip the lower lip how it comes out and I move that straight in make um, a straight mark there for the for, for, for the chin and and he's got a double chin so the next one just quickly comes down right there so that gives me the profile right there. the next thing I go for is the eye I always like to put in eyes into into these things so I'm just thinking okay um, I've just got to the nose there. Uh, I've done an imaginary line to connect to the eye and um, Just in the middle right there. I'm able to carve in the eye just just a corner of it and then I think his eyebrows kind of goes out and I think in here I'm going to darken this place a bit that would be where the hat would be and just I'm just adjusting that angle right there Okay, so now when I've got that I'm going to be checking the next angle um, okay, the distance between just a very rare distance between the um, eyes and the side uh, of his hair, the bit that comes out, and then quickly his air. Where does the air stop? I'm drawing a line, just maybe not exactly straight, but just between the air there. Just what I've done, and then at the back, just quickly fill in, you know, the hair. Just really quickly, just fiddle with the hair. And then the jawline straight away, jawline straight away, and all that combined. I've, I've, at the back here, I've got um, just near the chin. I think it's near the chin. It's just the side down. Boom. The next one, I just throw the line straight across, straight across, um, and then get this um, area here, which is the, his um, jacket that he's wearing. Um, a bit comes down, and there's a kind of um, I'm checking the distance where where does that lead from the nose the nose down so it's the nose down so I'm just going to draw imaginary line nose down and that gives me the right place where it flickers off so that was an imaginary perpendicular uh, no imaginary vertical line I just drew across there okay and that's it for like um the very quick drawing and then the glasses just come in right there just the glasses all right and then I'm just going to quickly, because I like to really put a flesh tone in now, that has just started off more recently, so I'm just going to knock in the flesh tone, just knock in very quickly, just knock in the flesh tone, right, you know, the squiggle, you know, people hear this on the tube, they wonder what this guy's doing, and I think I've put a little bit of it down there. The next thing that comes in is the Tombow marker, um, I'm using N75 um, just for the hat, so very fast block that in, block in the side, and block in a little bit of the shade right there. This one is almost finished. Just grab a hold of that. Yep. Yeah. Now is the most delicate part, which is the which is my little bit of hatching to shade to show form. So um underneath here the heavy lines if you remember my video on the heavy lines. Okay, and I'm just put my hand right through here. And then I'm just gonna be hatching here. Hatching the hat just to show movement, you know the movement of the hat, how it goes, it bends, it bends in, so I follow, I follow the form, it bends in, there's a bit of a dark line here, could be to um, because of contact, and then all through here, I'm just darkening the hair, I'm going straight into the air now, the air, right in the middle there, there's a dark line, there's a little bit of a dark line enough, there's more dark lines at the back here, now I'm, and now I'm a, a, around his, um, the side of his face, just following the form. Look at the bendy strokes that I'm putting in. The bendy strokes, and then it cu curves a bit. So I curve the pen 
in the way it moves, you know, very little. And I notice this place feels like the form goes across. So I'm pulling the strokes across. And then this, this shading I'm going to give the nose is mainly for, for tone. It's a little bit darker there. So I've just embedded that as a ha um, some straight hatching there. And then all over here, I think the glasses actually covers a little bit in the middle there. This part of the mouth is dark. That, that that line and then the rest is so light there's a line that shows his nostril right there and then I think um, under here oh he's double chin very important that gives him character so I've just rocked that right in there and then over here I have got um, a few little marks one two three just to show the area of the coat that's in the shade and a little bit of his shirt that comes out right there Okay, the rest of it you see here is um, just the side of his um, coat and then because it bends, I just bend the strokes. Can you see that? And then over. In a nutshell, oh let's see, just, just uh, no, a little bit more hair at the background, a little bit more hair. Um, yeah. And I'm using Paper Chase um, um, 1 100 Ink Joy, the brown pen, so I'm using a brown ballpoint pen for that brown ballpoint pen and um, pen um, it's paper joy paper joy 100 is the brown one um, and I'm also using two tumble markers right there um, the the numbers have come off this is an N75 and I think this is 942 N75 N942 and N75 I think these are the ones I'm using so these are the three mediums or um, I think uh, materials I'm using I'm just going to complete some of just the sketching of his um and this was done on a bus 22 from Slow Square to Edith Grove you know this guy must have been sitting adjacent to me somewhere and then, you know it's this is just something that you know can be done um, I think his nose is a bit dark over there um, on, under his chin is a bit dark. I'm adding some form by the side. Sometimes the, the bit of the air, I'm just I'm trying to introduce things I can remember from the from from um, um, from experience, you know. Um, top lip is mostly dark, you know. Just a few things here and there, under there, uh, and just bath the rest up. I say bath up, but that's just clean up, you know. It's just a word I use. Got so many of these little slangs, but in between and all that, I'm just going to darken the hat again and a little bit of the coat again and i think you know in a, in a way that should be it thank you guys i hope you enjoyed that i'm going to bring it closer so you can really see and i'm going to bring the other sketch by the side um yeah, that's the one i've copied from and this is the one i've just done so these are the two together oh i'm trying hard to do this these are the two together. All right, okay. I hope you enjoyed that, okay? Um, it's part of my sketch inspiration hot shots. You guys, you said you'd like to see these things come back and they have come back. Thank you.